Before we begin building out our first Euro block, we need to just go and set up a few things on our page like this styling. And though I have created this page, I've not set it yet to be edited with the Brizzy editor. Let's go into our page and then activate our good friend, Mr. Brizzy, edit with Brizzy, go into our page. For this tutorial, I will be working with the Brizzy template. What that means is that I'm not going to use the themes header. I will just use the page as is, and we will build our own header at the end. So step one, this is our page template. We're going to leave it just like this. Step two is going to be our styling. If I go here and click on the paintbrush, currently it's set to overpass. Overpass is the standard default selection at this moment for your color palette. And there's a number of them here in as well, as well as the Brizzy default. You need to remember that if you make changes to any of them, there is no reset option. So choose one of these because you're going to make changes to your color palette and that's going to be set in stone. So I'm just going to go for Samurai because I'm in the Samurai mood. And then here, just to give you an idea, these are my eight colors that I will be using. There's no pure black here. I've got a little bit of a black and another little bit of a black over here, but I've got pure white on this side. And then the two fonts that we will be using is Prata and Open Suns. So I'm just going to take that off screen and then we bring in our colors and you can sit and watch me change colors. Okay, and you can see almost black. It's going to bring in those colors that we will be using for our theme. And they're all slightly related. Let me just see if I got that one right. Yes. And you will see we have green, turquoise, pinkish, rose, peachy, all that kind of stuff. And all I'm doing is copying the hex codes, pasting them, and you are watching a video on copy and paste. Right. And I like to do this. I'm pretty much fanatic when it comes to my colors. So I really think about the colors before the time and I restrict myself to it. You know, often, and that one is already set to pure white. Often when you are working with a color palette, you tend to try new things out as you are working. I'm very strict with this. I put those colors there and I don't allow myself to go outside those colors. The only time I will allow myself is if I want to make changes to the opacity or transparency. Now, what you can do is you can go and also change your styling for your typography beforehand. You can go in here and paragraph and you can bring in Open Sans, you can bring in Prada. My workflow for this is that when I bring in a text element and I know this is going to be heading one, I style it on the page and I go to heading one. This makes it a little bit simpler for me to do it. And you will see when we begin building our hero, that is how I will do that for the above title and also for the heading one. What we can do in the meantime is load those two fonts. So I'm going to go to add new font and then go to Google fonts and we look for Prata, Prada, Prata. Strangely enough, you will think it's not there. Just scroll down and you will find Prata here and click on continue. Done. And then go back. Let's load our second font and you will see Prada. Is there Open Sans maybe already here? Let me check Open Sans. No. So let's go and look for Open Sans. Go to Google Fonts, Open Sesame, and we're just going to use Open Sans. We don't need the content version for our tutorial. Then let's see, go here, the two that we will be working with, Prada, Open Sans. Everything is set. I'm going to save my work. Go to the bottom right-hand corner, click on Update, and remember the shortcuts, Control-Command-S, every time you want to update and save your work. 